This is Helicoprion, the spiral saw shark. Helicoprion is an extinct genius of shark-like fish that used its spiky lower jaw to prey on soft-bodied cephalopods. It was thought that the weird design allowed them to keep better hold of their prey, as well as to slice into fish. Hello everybody, this is Helicoprion. I think I'm saying that right, but this is the most bizarre looking fish I've ever seen. I've never heard of it, so this is my first time getting a good look at it. It looks really cool for a shark-like mod, but let's get into the subspecies right quick. This is our default plus 5% attack. It's got a lot of fins. You can see that weighted lower lip is just... <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I'm sorry. That's what it looks like right there. Like it's just sucking in the lower lip right there, but it's it's kind of funny. Next, we have Divisi here, which is a bit thicker. Seal seems to have like a little bit more tucked in lower jaw, but other than that, it's just bigger for the most part. It's longer in snout here. Next, we have our plus 10% bleed. It basically looks like a swordfish because look how long that nose is. It's just really, really long. It still has the bladed lower jaw here, but definitely more swordfish like. This is our plus 5% speed. Basically, a lot of the tail fins are a little bit more elongated here at the bottom and the tips here, and the nose is a little bit shorter. And then here's our plus 10% health, minus 10% turn, and 4% speed. He's a chunky, chunky boy. He looks like a big tuna fish to me. <laughs> and it has a lot less fins on this version of it. Very cool though. And then we're back to our default here. All right, hello everybody. Here's our baby model. I can't really zoom in too much from this angle, but he's this really cute, nice purple baby skin. I really, really like the color choice and it's very adorable but let's go through the calls right quick first up is broadcast oh it's a cute little squeak to call oh yeah it's just another barking sound threaten i love the animation for the baby models threaten of course i'm sure the adult has the same model but it looks really, really good. It's actually very threatening just to both hear and see. So very, very good animation. War call. Oh, it's like a sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it because you have the tail drooping and everything. It's super cute. Talk. Just a quick little gurgle. Then barrel roll. Ah, it was right. And it looks really good. It was very smooth. Mystery one. I have no idea what to call that. I don't know. It seems kind of friendly. What do you guys think? And then mystery two. Uh, maybe territorial, but uh, let's go through some of the baby animations right quick. Here's our slow swim. Diving down here. It's pretty fast as a baby. I like it. Um, we turn pretty fast too. Look at that. And their actual speed swim is only a little bit faster than the regular swim. Like going down, going up, turning. Still really good turn radius though. Pretty nice. All right, and here's our adult model. I kind of have it like close to the surface so that we can hear the sounds better. Um, but it looks really, really good. I mean, I love this default skin. I feel like it's super appropriate. And then the, the bottom lip thing, I'm never going to get over it. But yeah, let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. It's that like deep rumble with a couple of clicks in there. Then we have our two call. Which is just that quick little bark and then threaten. I like that sort of wood chipper knocking on wood sound, you know, like a woodpecker, not wood chipper, woodpecker. But I think the animation again and the sounds for it is really, really good. Four call. Yeah, he's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. The tail drooping is super cute. Talk. It's just that little clicking noise. Barrel roll. It's such a smooth animation for the barrel roll. I love it a lot. It's very, very nice to look at. And then mystery one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like a come play with me type emotes. 
but it's very friendly, I think. And then mystery two. Yeah, I feel like that has to be like a territorial uh, emote because it's just so like aggressive. All right, let's do some of our adult animations. This is our slow swim right here. Pretty slow, pretty consistent. And like we're really conserving energy right here. The turn is still fantastic. Like this turn radius is insane. All right, our speed swim. From the back, it's a little bit faster, not super, super fast. And then from the side, going up in front. He looks like super goofy. Look at that. Um, from above. There we go. From below. We don't have a jump or a like crouch because we're aquatic. So we're going to do our sit here. There we go. Mm, yeah, it's pretty generic is what you would expect. There's not too many variations of a sit that you can do for a fish because I don't think they even do that in real life. Maybe some of them, but. I don't know. And then we're going to sleep. Got your eyes open. Just a simple tail tuck. Very, very normal animation. Pretty expected. Then our get up. There we go. We don't really have a drinking animation because we're aquatic again, but we do have this eating animation right here. And I got this big old fish. All right. So let's see our eating animation right quick. There we go. Just a little bit of noms. A little wiggly with the fins and everything. All right, we're going to go through these skins right quick. Remember, this is the male default skin right here. It's called Marlin. And then we have Brushed, Blacktip, Galetto, Great White, Gar, Bamboo Shark, Leopard Shark, Tigress, Tiger Shark, Ringed, Firefish Gobi, Orca, Melanistic, Albino, and Discus. These are really, really, really nice. I like a lot of these skins. The price for it is kind of insane though. 15,000 for a skin? 15,000 marks. Mm. <laughs> but other than that, I really, really like the skins for this guy. It's so, so good. All right, let's go through the abilities right quick. It looks like we have two extra senses slots. First one is our passive nocturnal. We have Helicopron is more active at night and on the hunt, getting hungrier, gaining acceleration, speed and damage. And then passive cold blooded Helicopron is less active at day and mainly prowling, requiring less food and gaining defense. So different buffs based on the time of day it is. Then we have two head slots. First one is Whirl Snap, causes low damage and bleed. Second is Whirl Barrage, a super fast whirl attack that stacks up to 20 damage in total. Works on land two. 20 damage is not that much in the grand scheme of things. So I don't know how useful that's gonna be. We'll have to test that out. Slam, deal damage and knockback, drains targets oxygen and stamina by seven per hit. That's pretty good if you want to drown somebody. And then Helix Incision deals low damage and medium bleed. For our senses, we have Ambush. Your first attack when not in combat deals increased damage. Then we have Blood Frenzy. Increases speed and acceleration within 100 meters of a bleeding creature. Wow, that's wild. That lasts for a long time too. 100 meters is pretty far. Lone Stalker. Gain 10% increased attack damage when not in a group. Front Limb. We have Head Strike. Deal damage and knockback. Works only on land for self-defense. These are some interesting on land only abilities. And then Spiral deals medium damage and good knockback. Metabolism, we have Ichthyophagus. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I hope that was close. Can eat fish and shellfish, moderate food drain. Carnivore can eat meat and fish, increases acceleration by 7%. High food drain and then slow metabolism. Only eat shellfish, slow hunger drain, increases your turn rate by 4%. I don't think you really need more turn rate. All right, hide. Ooh, there's a lot. We have Relentless Hide increases stamina by 15%. Streamlined increases speed swim and sweet turning by 10%. Resilient Hide increases bleed and venom heal rate by 30%. Slippery Hide bucking and struggling while being carried will now drain enemy stamina 50% faster. That's great. And then Thick Hide increases health by 15%. I don't know how much health we actually have right now, but Let's see if we actually need it. And then we have two leg slots. First one is Rover, improves land speed and stamina regen while on land. Sawing Blitz deals three ticks of low damage and bleed. Saws armor off the target by 5%. Serulated Eruption deals two ticks of damage, sawing sideways on the target's flesh and slowing down their acceleration by 20% while weakening them to status effects by 15%. 
requires one to get quite close. Back limb, rapid impact, dashes forward and deals medium damage while inflicting internal hemorrhage effect on target. Internal hemorrhage increases the target's incoming bleed by 20%. All right, I'm starting to see the build in my head. I'm seeing it. Whirl lunge, lunges and slams into target with its teethy whirl dealing medium bleed and debuffing the target with days, which slows them down. But upon collision, the Helicoprion loses 20 hit points to recoil damage. Mm. Mm. But what exactly is days though? And then tail, we have two slots. Balanced tail increases turn radius and acceleration by 7%. That's pretty helpful. Tail swing deals damage upon hitting a target. It'll grant increased turn radius for three seconds. Swift tail increases speed by 3%. Okay. I like a lot of these abilities. It kind of already deals with some of the issues that I was seeing a little bit just in the brief testing that we did. So these are really good. All right. We're going to go through the ability animations right quick. First up, we have World Snap. It's basically just a bite. I'm surprised they didn't hurt themselves seeing how the jaw goes into the mouth. But it's quick, has a low cooldown, but does low damage. After that, we have War Barrage, which is even faster. Look at that. But it only stacks like 20 damage. So I don't know how useful that is compared to like the other bites. Next, we have Spiral. Oh, it's basically like a damaging flip. Let's see how it looks when we're moving Spiral. Yeah, it doesn't really go very far, but that is supposed to do medium damage and knockback. Next, we have Seru related eruption. Oh, I'm not even sure what I just saw there. I think it's kind of like a thrash. One more time, Seru related eruption. Kind of, I'm not sure, but that's going to reduce their acceleration and also weaken them by 15% to more status effects. Next, we have sawing blitz. Oh, okay. I think that one's supposed to be used while you're moving, but that was really cool. I like the animation for that. So here we go. One more time. Sawing Blitz. Yeah. Next we have Rapid Impact. Oh, did you see that? The eyes went black there. Oh my God. And then you kind of lunge forward. It might just be because I have it in precise movement that he didn't actually go that far. But I loved seeing the eyes turn black there. We'll do that one more time while we're moving. Yeah, that one's good. You go a good bit of a distance there. And then lastly, we have tail swing. Oh, that's pretty wide. That's awesome. But if you land that, you get increased turn radius for, I think, like a couple of seconds. But that's really, really good. One more time. Tail swing. So much range on that. It's fantastic. Next up, we have slam. Oh, it's like an upward slam type thing. I thought it would be a bit more of a shoulder check, but that works too. It's to see it one more time. S slam. Yeah, just an upward head slam. And that one's going to drain oxygen and stamina from your opponent. Next, we have Helix Incision. Which it just seems to be like a harder bite, but that's going to do low damage and medium bleed. One more time. Yeah, just a harder bite. Then we have Whirl Lunge. The eyes black out again and it lunges forward. Really, really cool. Do it one more time while we're moving. World lunge. Yeah, it's pretty similar to the other ability in terms of animation. All right, this is us on land. It's kind of sad looking. Look at the fins tipped over. But uh, let's see our only land move. Head strike. Oh, it's kind of just like that um, slam in the water, but it does medium damage and knockback. So at least you can defend yourself to some degree on land. All right, let's see our land movement. Oh my God, she's bumping that head because it's kind of rough. Everything flops. He's not as slow as I thought he would be though, so. All right, everybody, and that's about it for our friend here, Helicoprion. My opinion on the guy is he's a very, very interesting mod with some cool abilities. It seems to be very status effect driven. So a lot of the abilities do low damage and you wanna rely on them really succumbing to the status effects 
so make sure that you hit your marks so that you can actually take down your enemies way easier it has really really great turn radius its speed is kind of slow it's not the fastest but it does have some abilities to increase that so it won't be too much of a problem and the skins are fantastic i really do love them a lot of the art for the icons the ability icons are really really good so whoever worked on this kudos to you because it was really 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 fantastic and now we just got to see how well it does against other creatures of the same size really because of the low damage abilities but yeah everybody that's about it thank you so much for watching if you like this video definitely check out my other videos i cover a lot of different mods and some games that you might not have heard of but again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video